Let's talk about one of the most powerful effects for character animation in After Effects, liquify. Hi, my name is Kat and I'm a motion graphics artist slash animator. When I animate artwork, I pretty much always use this effect in some way. You can use it to make characters change expressions or blink or even turn their entire heads to appear 3D. I'm going to show you how to use this effect and apply it to facial expressions and blinks. But if you want to use this tool in a more advanced setting such as turning heads, there's an amazing tutorial by Anthony Possibon that I'll link in the description below. I'm only using a flat image of a werewolf and a child to demonstrate this tool. I've got my files imported into After Effects, so let's begin. Select the layer you want to use, then go to Effects, Distort, and find Liquify. In the Effects Control Panel, you'll see it pop up. Start by adding a keyframe at Distortion Mesh. Move forward a few keyframes, or however long you want the animation to be. In this case, I'm going to make it look like the child is eating, so I'm going to move his mouth around. You can change the brush size depending on how big of an area you want to change. The smaller the brush is, the more detail you get, so I'm keeping the brush pretty average. Then you basically push and pull the mouth and skin around the mouth. Sounds weird, I know. You'll notice a lot of icons in the effects control panel to show what type of distortion you're using. We're going to use the pointer finger image, so if you accidentally deselect it, that's the one you want to use. The other ones do different types of liquify esh distortion. Once I finished, I added another keyframe further out to make his mouth move down and then copied the original keyframes later so it appears in an animated chewing loop. Next, I'm going to use Liquify to animate a blink. You're going to want two different assets to add on top of this, so a eyelid and then an eyelash layer. You'll want a closed eyelid and an open eyelash. Once you have your assets ready, import them and start with the closed eyelid. You're going to want to hide your eyelash so you don't have to worry about that at the moment. Apply Liquify to the eyelid and start pushing up from the bottom. And then take your time with this. Use a fairly small brush, but not too small, or you'll get some weird sharp details that you don't want. The process is going to look a little creepy for a second, but once the eyelids open, it's going to look really cool. Using Liquify on different assets takes a little bit of time especially if it's a more complicated animation like a head turn. Eyelids still take a little bit because you want it to look as smooth and even as possible, so this process is sped up here. And then once you're done, select your keyframes and change them to Easy Ease. On the eyelashes, I like to use puppet pins instead of Liquify because there's a little bit more control and it comes out slightly smoother and even. Just slowly go through your keyframes. Whenever there's a big change in movement to the eyelid, just match up your eyelashes to that. When you're ready for the eye to open, it's essentially the same process. Copy the last keyframe where you want the blink to open. Uh, and then I usually just time reverse the bottom liquify layer because you don't have to redo it. It's the same process up. But with the eyelashes, I like to do that by hand once again, just in case, because every once in a while when I do time reverse it, it doesn't match up as perfectly. Just make sure that the very last keyframes when the eye is open is the same as the first keyframes. You can copy and paste those to make sure that it's in a loop. And that's basically it. To finish up the animation, I split up the background and I animated the clouds, added some smoke, and threw some puppet pins on the characters themselves so that they would move ever so slightly. If you want to see more animated art like this, you can find my Instagram at artsandcats. Thanks for sticking around. I'm going to start adding an animated film I'd recommend at the end of videos like this, so since I animated a werewolf today, how about wolf children? Wolf Children is a 2012 2D animated Japanese film that follows a human mother who's raising two werewolf children all by herself. It's a beautiful story with lots of powerful emotions throughout. There were a few scenes that really surprised me and a couple of which were very dark, so keep that in mind, but overall it was a beautiful, beautiful movie. If you like 2D animation and you like stories that are modern fantasy, then I would definitely recommend it.